They have sprouted up all over western Lucas County. They are roundabouts. And now another one is coming to the intersection of Angola and King Roads. This will be the, I think, the 30th. The 30th roundabout the Lucas County Engineer's Office has constructed in western Lucas County with an emphasis on safety. There's two types of crashes that typically result in death or serious injury, and that's the T-bone and the head-on collision. Um, those types of crashes are eliminated in a roundabout. Panuski adds that one overlooked aspect of roundabouts is the fact that they keep traffic flowing, which your typical signalized intersection can offer. When you're stopped, someone's moving, you're stopped. Most of our signalized intersections are timed for peak traffic. So the way that they run is for the peak hour and the peak traffic. Well, if it's for the peak hour, you have 23 other hours that that's not the way that the intersection works. Now, obviously, roundabouts aren't viewed so favorably by everyone. So what's it going to take to change that? You know, just like a signalized intersection was once a new intersection improvement, dealing with a roundabout intersection, uh, just when you approach the intersection, look to the left, see if there's anybody there. And if there's nobody there, you can proceed. Working on an aggressive timeline, Panuski confirms to me that the intersection should be completed in mid-October. Reporting in Toledo, I'm Jaden Jefferson.